What you guys got another product review? If you're looking for a microphone that's very affordable, then the FromMax M Drill One professional streaming microphone might be the choice for you. The audio you're hearing right now is from this microphone, and I've done no After Effects on it. All I've done is boost the levels on the audio a little bit inside Camtasia Studio. So this does come with four modes on it. It does have a cardioid, and it also has stereo omnidirectional and bidirectional. Now Cardioid does streaming, podcast, voiceovers and instruments, where Stereo does vocals and instruments. Omnidirectional is good for conference calls and events and bidirectional is good for interviews, instruments and vocal duets. So you've got all the options available to you here on a very affordable 48 kilohertz 16 bit microphone. So you're gonna get the pamphlet and you're also going to get your microphone in a nice foam padded box when you get it delivered to you so it's not going to get damaged in transit to you. So let's get everything out the box so you can see what you're going to actually get if you go ahead and purchase this. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get your registration card and you can get an additional 12 months registration when you register online. Also you're going to get a couple of stickers and you've also got three meters of braided cable here with gold plated ends. One is a standard USB and one is the Type-C connector which goes into your microphone. So you've got all the options available for getting really good quality audio without having all those fancy mixers. And you've also got the microphone itself which does have this sound enhancing acoustics chamber here. Now you don't want to be speaking into the top bit, you want to speak directly in the front. You've got that nice big weighted uh, stand on there which you can remove. It does have a 3.5mm audio jack, it also allows you to change the mood lights on the bottom which I'll show you later and your phone if you want to mount it onto some sort of uh, arm or stand onto your uh, desk there which I would advise you to do to get it off the desk. So the overall look of this is made of mainly plastic and metal and you can see you do have that nice little uh, look to it like a Yeti microphone there. So on the back you do have the gain button and also your volume button here. You can change these to your liking, give it a bit more gain if you wish or a bit more volume. And you can also see there you can plug in your headphones into this as well so you can hear your volume when you're talking into your headphones by using that 3.5mm audio jack. Now the mute button here is for the microphone, you can mute. Now it does have a couple of buttons on the front here which is your microphone which means you can mute it very quickly which is very handy and you also have your mode button on the bottom which allows you to change it from cardioid to any other mode that you want to like stereo, bidirectional or omnidirectional depending on what you want to change it to. Now the buttons on the back do have uh, different color modes so basically you would have the green and the blue so you know exactly which one you're turning. So if it was the gain mode, which is green, and the volume is now blue. So you can just move those up and down so you know whether you're giving it too much gain or if you're giving it too much volume, you'll be able to tell very quick and easy by the color uh, LED lights there, which are on the front. Now also you can change the uh, modes here and they have got LED lights on there to let you know which mode you're in, whether you're in cardioid or stereo or omnidirectional or bi-directional. Now there is an LED mode button on the bottom which you can push which change the colors of the LED on the bottom there. As you can see there's a bunch of different colors on there if you wish to have it on a different color and you can even turn it off if you wish. So that's always available there. You've got your 3.5mm audio jack there if you want to plug your headphones in so you can hear the audio which you are speaking if you're doing a podcast or something like that. And you can see the different colours for the uh, different um, volume and gain buttons there, changing colour there. Now I would advise you to put too much gain on this because you may get a bit of feedback. So keep the gain down at a reasonable level, probably two or four. I've kept mine on two for this video and I'll just boost the volume and that's all I'm going to do for this particular audio. So all the audio you're hearing right now is without any sort of post-production edits before you upload it. I've not done any of that. What you're hearing here is the audio from this microphone and you can just turn the volume up or boost the volume and that's all I've done in uh, Camtasia Studio. Now obviously you can add a bit more bass if you wish in uh, post-production, that's entirely up to you. But at £79, I think it's a really good buy for someone who wants to start out a YouTube 
uh, channel, maybe doing some gaming audio or podcasting or voiceovers or whatever it is you want to use the microphone for. I'll leave the link in the video description. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.